Hello everyone, my name is Jyotsna. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see the basic structure of Java programming. So, which way we write Java program, which part it contains while writing a Java program, which structure it contains. So, when we write a program, it is not mandatory to use all the structures. It is possible to use some structure and not to use some of them. So in this part, some are essential to run Java program and some are optional. So here today in this video, we will see which part of Java structure is used and which is essential and which is not essential uh, to write Java program. So let's start. So I will start one by one. There are actually six different sections. Uh, which basically containing Java structure, Java uh, structure of Java program. Okay, the first one is documentation section. So it is optional, optional while writing Java program. Documentation section is not mandatory as we write comments in this section. Okay, so uh, for example, we want to write a program name or author or date, etc. For that we use comments in our program there are three different way, ways in which we write comments okay the first one is used to write a single line comment other two ways are used to write a uh, the uh, multiple line comments in, in using this we can write single or multiple multiple lines also the only difference is using this third one um, we can uh, generate automatic documentation when we run the program right so the next section is package statements which is also optional so uh, it is used uh, when we are creating a package in program it means if we are defining any class below the package statements then it belongs to that package suppose we want to make some package uh, the package uh, for example uh, we want to uh, make a package of student uh, student name okay so we will write it as package which is a keyword uh, it is actually small letter and student it is the name of package with ending with semicolon so now we can define uh, classes under this package if you define some class under this package student then that class belongs to this package okay the next uh, section is import statements which is also optional using import statements we can import already defined classes from java library okay so uh, for example we have one package called school okay and i want to import the student class from package school then i will write it as import which is a keyword then school it is a package name dot student which is a class name and ending with semicolon so this will import student class from package school okay but what if i want to uh, import all the classes from school package for that we will write it as import school dot asterisk this sign implies that we can import all the classes from school package okay so importing student class into program we can then use all the methods which are declared under student class and um, uh, if we declare uh, this as like this then we can import all the method from all the classes which are under school package okay the next one is the next section is interface statements which is also optional okay when we use interface statements when we want to use multiple inheritance in our program then we use interface statements okay so it is not mandatory to use uh, multiple inheritance every time in our program so it is also not mandatory to use interface statements in our program okay the next one is class definition which is mandatory if you want to define multiple classes in our program we use class definition section in this uh, section in each class we can declare a variable define a variable methods 
and we can define everything uh, re regarding class in the class definition okay the last one is main class definition in main class definition which is also a mandatory section in this we define a main uh, class which is from which our program starts so it is not uh, it is not possible to run our java program without using main class so it is also mandatory section so this is all about six different sections which contains in our while we write our java program so this is all about the basic structure of java program thank you so much for watching this video good day have a good day bye